Hi folks, we are here with the new HS261 Props Found Anywhere Miniatures Edition. I'm not too happy with the new miniatures for the D&D game. For, after all, they're kind of, most of them are, this kind of like bland type paint jobs. Looks like a little kid painted them. And after all, they are good miniatures for if you're going to play a game. They'll fit, they'll, they meet, meet, we'll say, the criteria of a miniature. But for me, a miniature has to have a certain beauty or character and has to describe your character. It can't be cookie cutter. And when you buy a miniature out of pack, they're all these kind of painted brown figures or black that are horrible. I remember, I remember an age when players would take pride in their, in their characters where the character had to represent who they are and what their character looked like, right down to the robes having special details, they had a certain color scheme other than black and more black because it's so cool to be black, you know. You know, it's like these miniatures just don't have the power or character that the old ones used to have. You know, let's remove these and show you what I'm talking about. See, here's an old player character. And you see the difference in the detailing. He has tattoos. His kilt has detail. His base is, is chipped from age and play. But this was a time when people were proud of their miniatures. It was a representation of themselves, not just something to fill the criteria of playing a table. You'd have knights with color. Let's get this guy out of here. Yeah, they had a certain flair. Yes, the models are like cookie cutter as well, but it's the paint, the character, and the direction the artist took with the models which made them more interesting than the new modern. I buy five packs and I'm going to get five models. You could have a miniature here, like a wizard, and then you could choose another miniature that could be his summoning piece. So all of a sudden you got mages here with his genie blue summoned onto the table. So you could say, hey, here's, here's mages, Cobain, two death knights appear on the table. It just a little bit more color and then the evil witch appears behind him you see how it's just so much interesting at the table to look at then our party is being charged with a minotaur which reminds me of a saiyan as the evil wizard appears with his flaming sword of Kabbalah and a viking god lord Thundar and our changeling friend who's brown all appear at the table. The only color in there is basically that big blue cape. It doesn't really inspire me to play but it does fill the space of the table. Let's take the Viking out and let's put this here. You know we've got all of a sudden the big burly barbarian appears with the mystical female. It'll, all of a sudden, this changes. Let's take this Saiyan piece of junk out and replace him out with a demon lord. All of a sudden, your play table got a certain amount of character to it. You see, one of those little pieces is fine, but then it's just like, ooh. I just fear this guy because this it's just so much more I don't know I just like the character of paint the colors what the artist puts into him 
before you saw other alternatives to metal or to plastic figures, if you're not happy with it for a bigger scale, you could go with like figures from the line of the old Narnia. The old Advanced Dungeons and Dragons back in the 70s, if you're lucky to find them or buy a collection off of eBay. Or Pirates of the Caribbean, which will fill in all your rogue scoundrels characters at the table. Most D20 players don't take care of the models when they come to the table anyways, and Walmart, Big Lots, have great selections of low income low priced figures that you can buy in bulk, like core figures. They come in packs of two, four, or twelve. Or flea market core guys, or even flea market Joe's if you're lucky to find them in good condition where they can still stand, they have full mobility of their joints. And if you need human characters that don't do anything like characters that look like Michael Moore, you can always find these guys at Kmart's or at Big Lots. These are the dollar guys or dollar fifty guys that they have anything from adventurers to Dungeon and Dragon guys to orcs, halflings, um, all kinds if you look hard enough. And they are very well uh, constructed, especially the new core guys. You could throw them around at the table at your friends. You could throw them at the dungeon master. Plus, as an added bonus, you can always use local, let's say, items as terrain. So let's use an example here. We'll take some of these guys away, and we'll leave Goodwin, as we'll call him. So we don't have monsters to this scale, but do we really need monsters? We just need something that meets the shape of the monster to him. So let's say he's fighting a giant giraffe, which will then become a bottle. Or the cheater D20. They all, all are space to him, and his friend can come running up and protect him. And this guy can be the hostage they got to rescue. So in turn, you now can go, he's going to move here, and he's going to hit. Our leader is going to charge this guy, and you're going to have to make a roll being hit by that, and he's going to be attacking the bottle. The same can be used with even the Narnia, the Pirates, or the old D&D figures. But as a last resort, you could always use these figures.